This is a book about Lubavitcher Hasidim and their leader, or Rebbe Menachem Mendel Schneerson. Both the Rebbe and the Lubavitcher Hasidim became caught up in the belief that they were living in messianic times and that they could hasten the coming of the Messiah and the day of redemption through their own actions. That concern with the Messiah began with the fifth of their seven Rebbes, Shalom Dov Bir Schneerson, 1860-1920. It was intensified in the thinking and deeds of his only son, Yosef Yitzchak, 1880-1950. The sixth Rebbe, who made those concerns public during the dark days of the Holocaust, and reached a climax with the seventh and most recent Rebbe, Menachem Mendel Schneerson, 1902-1994, son-in-law and cousin of his predecessor. This active messianism became in many ways a response to the extraordinary events of the last 150 years of Jewish history, including the ferment of European Jewish life, and the erosion of the traditional world of Judaism through secularization, migration, socialist revolution, war, and holocaust. All these, as well as the advent of Zionism and the founding of the State of Israel, along with the post-Second World War relocation of Jewry to Western democracies, convinced the Seventh Rebbe and the Lubavitchers that the scene was now irrevocably set for the coming of the Messiah. Under the leadership of Rabbi Menachem Mendel, they saw themselves as being on a mission to transform Jewry, and indeed the world. In time, not only would they and their Rebbe be persuaded that their efforts would have a mystical effect on the world and shift the balance of reality from one in which people remain unredeemed to one in which they had prepared the world for redemption. In the course of their campaign to hasten the coming of the Messiah, they also became convinced that their Rebbe was the Redeemer incarnate. This book tells the story of the Rebbe, how and why his own messianic convictions ripened and expressed themselves, and what happened after he died. It is a story of the unprecedented success of a small Hasidic group that seemed on the verge of collapse in 1950 with the death of their sixth leader, but replanted itself in America and gained fame and influence throughout the world in ways no one could have imagined when Menachem Mendel took over the reins of leadership in 1951. It is an account of the consequences of heightened expectations and global attention to their mission, and finally, of their having to cope with the physical decline and death of their would-be Redeemer and the apparent failure of his prophecies and their expectations. This is a tale of great drama, triumph, and tragedy, filled with hopes and prayers, mystery and intrigue. It is also the story of how one man and some of his followers were swept away by his beliefs and expectations and led to assume that death could be denied and history manipulated. It recounts how an ancient idea that there is a messianic redeemer and he will come could be brought unto the agenda of the modern world and make headlines of how a small and relatively obscure group of Hasidim could capture the imagination of the world and deign to transform it. Because we believe that what a man is may be so entangled with where he is, who he is, and what he believes that it is inseparable from them. The story necessarily also touches on some of the major historical currents that swirled around the life of this man and his movement. It merges social and personal history with mysticism and religion.